Hello and welcome to this video. This is Catrix and in this tutorial we're going to be looking at the Align tool. First off, I want to show you how you'd probably, if you didn't know any better, would input this bolt into this hole. So I'm going to go to and press M and I'm going to put this up here. I'm going to rotate it and I'm going to put it, oh that's about right isn't it? Oh, looks like we did quite a good job there to be fair. Uh, but now we need it to be down. Uh, okay, so that's pretty good, but but we've wasted quite a lot of time doing that. So the better option would be to let's control Z a few times. For some reason it's over here. The better option would be to go to modify and click align or use control A. So now what we can do is select between two components. So we're going to click on from, we're going to go to this face and we can see there's a bunch of dots essentially. But the one we're interested in is the one that's on this face but also in the middle. But what you can see is when I go to click it, oh, it's gone. So what you need to do is hover over the face of which you want to be touching this surface, then hold control to lock it, then you can click on the point which you want. So now you need to go and click on the place where you want it to go to. So we want it to be on this surface and at this point. So we can click, we can hover and click and control click here. You can see it's kind of not what we want. So what we need to do is click on the flip button. So you can see how much more convenient that is. So if we go to inspect section analysis, and if you don't know how to use this, this is in my last video, section analysis. Click on this profile, and now we can see that our bolt is perfectly aligned in this hole. Of course, this hole doesn't have a thread, but it's not really important. So I'm going to show you another example. Actually, I'm going to use the same document. So another option you can do is by pressing M and go to point to point. Point to point can be quicker sometimes, uh, but it is a little bit problematic and you'll see. So if we go to origin point, hold control and click this point, hold control and click this point. Let's try again. Okay, so we need to select the component under selection. So we need to click that, go to origin, click this one, and then the target point, we need to hold control and click this point. But you can see it's like we've done before, but there's no method to spin it round unless we do it manually ourselves. But now, because the pivot is in an incorrect place, it's no longer aligned to the surface. So theoretically, you could change the pivot to here. Then click the tick and then rotate it. But I would just myself before doing any of that just rotate it 180, then use point to point. I mean, theoretically, this is the same exact thing, but it's just we did it before. There we go. Not sure why that happened, but let's go to the next example. So let's say we have two cubes and I've rotated this one so it's a bit wonky um, just to help demonstrate it a little bit better. So if we go to modify and align, what we can do is if we select just the face, so if we select the from as this one, we want to move to this cube. If you select just the face, the general face, and then the general face of the one we want to, 
you can see it only aligns the faces so they are kind of touching even though they're not next to each other you can see this is on the same sort of plane if this plane was extended they would be touching the same plane so obviously we don't want that in this example so we're going to click the point and we're going to select the point here oops let's do that again so we're going to click we're going to click this as the from and then the two we're going to select this point and you can see it's rotated it so it's completely aligned you can also obviously select the points like this and make sure it's like like that and then select this point here this achieves the same thing so I'm going to show the last example is when you say you align say this knot into this hole like this by going to align like we've just done and then going to the face we want to be touching the bottom of this cavity holding control and clicking the center point and then clicking the bottom and clicking control you can see it's not kind of aligned the way we want it all you have to do to fix that is click the button angle it may take a few times but the first time i clicked it was what was required to fix it so now we can click OK. And if you're wondering where I'm getting these threads, you can go to Insert and go to Macasta Car Park Component. So this is like a big like database uh, full of common components. So the bolt, for example, in the first demonstration was found by going to here, selecting metric. Whoops. Selecting metric. Socket. And then choosing this uh just turn off inch and selecting the size so i chose m6 and then i just choose stainless steel then we scroll down I, and i made that hole that it went into at 25 mil so i choose a 25 one so click on that then we can choose we can choose step file and then click on download so that just imports that into the document eventually. So if I rotate it 180 and go point to point, hold control and click center point, which is not center point. Pretend that bolt, pretend that knot isn't there. That is essentially in the hole. So I hope that video helps and you'll be using a line instead of moving things manually in the future. Catch you in the next one. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like and subscribe for more videos like this. Or if you found it horrendous, please feel free to insult me in the comments. And while you're here, don't forget to check out the previous video, if you haven't already, and the next video. Catch you in the next one.